Hi friends, welcome to Cutesy Crafts. Today I want to show you these footballs that I made. I had them in mind for Father's Day, so I know I'm making different colors for different people. Um, so I hope that you will want to make these too. So I want to show you first your materials you're going to need. Um, you'll need whatever color you're going to use for the football and then a color for the... Um, for stitching on the thread part here. Okay, so whatever color you want to use, um, I use, and the, the yarn is worsted, and the needle crochet hook that I used is a size H, and you're going to need a yarn needle to thread through your stitching for the football. So the pattern, I'm going to put it in the description box. It's not my pattern, so I'm going to give credit where credit is due. So just to talk you through it, um, you're going to start by chaining two and you're going to go in rows across. I'm going to increase doing two double crochets starting at, in the row and then single crochet going across and then just chaining one at the end of each one until you get to the middle part. And then you're going to start to decrease by single crocheting two together. Now this was kind of a new stitch for me. So... What that means is two together means you're going to have two stitches, but only but, but bring them together into one. If I can kind of explain it that way. So that's where you're going to decrease your stitches until you come down to the end. And then you're going to single crochet around the entire length of your football. Now, when I got to, sometimes at the ends, they're not like pointy enough. So I would just do an extra chain, chain one at the tip and then keep single crocheting the whole way around. And then using the yarn needle, um, going through the back, I started by taking, making one, the line, the length that I wanted to do it. So threading it through the bottom, going across, going down that way, and then starting with my small stitches along the middle there. And then just tying it off and that's pretty much it. So real simple. Um, I think I want to show you though what I'm talking about with the single crochet two together. So let me just, this is just like a sample though. This is not the actual pattern. But let's just say, here let me do, let me just do a, I'm not going to do a magic ring. I'm just going to do a slip knot. Because I know for me, like, this was kind of like single crochet, that's easy. Two single crochet, that just means making two in the same loop. So let me just do a chain here. Okay, so I'm going to do, just going to make it so I have some stitches here to work with. So I don't really pay attention to what, this isn't, this is not a pattern here. I know sometimes when I look at, um, you know, I'll like browse around at different patterns and um, I'm like, oh, what is that? What's that stitch? You know, you can kind of describe it, but you really need to see it to get it. Okay, so now I have a row of stitches that I can work with here. Okay, so let's say I want to do, now one of the stitches in this pattern is called a is two single crochet. That just means I'm going to go into the stitch, what's well, one single crochet, and now I've got two. So that's what a that's what two single crochet is. Once again, going into the stitch once and then twice. That's two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, now I want to talk about the single crochet two together. That just means I've got two stitches here. I'm going to skip that, skip the first one, go into the second one, and bring it together. So that's going to decrease, decrease my step, my, the, my row. That's how I'm going to make this, make the shape here of the football. So I hope that helped. Um, again, I'll have the description in the box and the link to the person who created this great pattern. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great Father's Day. See you next time.